Hi everyone, this is my boy to girl transformation. So if you want to find out how I went from this to this, then keep watching and you'll find out. Now, I didn't really do a good job at showing all the products that I used, so um, I'll try and do my best to remember which ones they were. Um, right here I'm actually using a concealer by Hard Candy, it's called the Light Bright. I'm just putting that anywhere there's any redness, you know, I also do a little bit of covering up of like my 5 o'clock shadow. Um, I also put some on my lips for later on when I put my lipstick on. This is a concealer by CoverGirl. Um, it's a medium color. Uh, it's more of a warmer, kind of more tan color, and I use that on my 5 o'clock shadow. Um, you know, it just kind of helps to prevent you being able to see it through my foundation later on. Now right here I'm actually using a Dermablend foundation. It's actually a leg and body cover foundation, uh, but it's such a high coverage that I find that it's perfect for me to create a brand new face. So I use it for my base foundation. This particular color uh, is a little dark on me. Um, it's a medium color. So um, I'm actually using it for my, the base for my contouring, uh, essentially. Now here I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush and um, to get the highlighting I'm actually using an Ulta brand foundation. Uh, it's a Fabulous Face compact foundation. It's a cream to powder foundation. Um, I find that it's a really good alternative um, if you want something inexpensive and you don't want to wait for your Max Factor to come in the mail from ordering online and run, run over to Ulta and this is a good alternative for that. I do find that the colors tend to come out a little bit more gray though. Um, they are a really good highlight though, especially if there's any flash photography because they do catch the light pretty well, so it's a really good highlight, I find, in comparison to the Dermablend. I like to get all the high points in my face, of course, the normal highlighting, my cheeks and forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my upper lip and my chin. Uh, and then what I do afterwards is I take a Real Techniques uh, stippling brush and I like to blend out all the harsh edges so that way it looks a little bit more natural. Now right here I'm, going, I'm using a um, Cody Airspun loose face powder. Um, you can get this at Walmart really cheap, like five bucks. Um, but I'm using that to pretty much set all of my highlighting that I did with the um, lighter foundation. Now. Throughout this video, you're going to see me doing this a few times um, for a couple reasons. One, you know, I just want to really set the highlights in there and really let them bake in. Uh, and I keep doing things that accidentally like brush off parts of it. <laughs> um, also, I really, really kick it on my cheeks just because later on, anytime I use eyeshadow and there's any fallout, I like to have a little extra loose face powder there because it's real easy to just brush away. Right here I'm using an Eco Tools, Eco Tools <laughs> um, blush brush and I'm using a MAC Studio Fix foundation actually in NW50. Um, it's a pretty dark foundation um, but I like to use it for my contouring and if you do it right you can get some really good harsh edges or you can blend it out real easily. Either way it's a really good color. Right here I'm actually using a brush by Bare Minerals, and it's a soft focus free brush, and I use that to kind of like blend in all of the powder foundations, because um, I don't like harsh edges for my contouring. And of course I'm caking more of that Cody powder back on my face. Now here I'm using my Urban Decay Tinted Eyeshadow Primer or eyeshadow prime potion, that's what it is. I always like to do that just because it really does help to keep my eyeshadow from moving, especially if I'm gonna be going out um, at the club and you know dancing and stuff like that. I just, I want my eyeshadow to stay in place. I spend a lot of time on it and I really like the way it looks when it's done. So I don't want it to move. Now, I'm using a quad color Maybelline Color Delights Cream Eyeshadow for the base for my eyeshadows. Um, I do the 
really light pink for the inner corner, the medium pink in the middle, and the darkest pink on the outer corner, uh, because I'm going to go back over that with some purple and pink colors later. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner that you can smudge for this, um, because we're going to be smudging it. Um, I don't know what brand it is. It's either CoverGirl or Maybelline, um, but I like the twist up because I don't like it to have to sharpen it. So it's a twist up and it smudges really well. So any black eyeliner that can smudge will work for this look. Now I start off by making a really big funky wing shape uh, and then I kind of bring it over to create a fake crease and then of course I do the same thing on the other eye. Now when you're doing these harsh funky shapes like this on your eyes it's really important to try and get them as similar and symmetrical as you can. So you'll notice me kind of looking back and forth at the mirror and the camera, trying to make sure that they're equal. <laughs> or even, I should say. Now right here I'm actually using another Eco Tools brush. It's just a little smudge brush. And I use that to, um, you know, smudge out the edges and make it kind of smoky. To kind of smoke out the black um, eyeliner. And that's why, of course, you wanted the smudgeable eyeliner. Now here I'm using another Eco Tools brush. It's just a simple eyeshadow brush, um, but what I'm using is a MAC eyeshadow. Uh, it's the Stars and Rockets color. It's the uh, Velux Pearl eyeshadow. Um, I love this color because it looks like a really bright fuchsia color, but it has kind of a pearlescent look to it. And when you put it over the black eyeshadow, it comes out to this really pretty purple, bl deep bluish purple color. Now I'm taking a Bare Minerals brush, and I'm using Bare Minerals Eyeshadow 2000, which is a kind of a snowy white sparkly kind of eyeshadow, and I'm using that for the inner corner, and I'm also going to use that on the brow bone to highlight the brow bone as well. Just add a little bit of sparkle there. Now I'm actually using a Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild palette. Um, it's from the Blue Had Me At Hello palette, and it has, you know, several different blue and teal colors. This is the matte black color in the bottom left of that palette that I'm using to kind of darken up the crease a little, make it look a little more smoky, a little more intense. And then I go back over with my eyeshadow brush just to kind of blend everything out more of the white. I want to have that sparkle, that 2000 from Bare Minerals has a really good sparkle to it. It's not a lot of pigment, but it's a lot of sparkle. And then I just go back over and get rid of any of the excess loose face powder and kind of buff everything in so I have a softer look in my face. Now for this look, since I'm not going to be wearing a wig, I'm going to be using a phony pony and you're going to see my natural hairline. I'm actually going to create a brand new hairline, and I do this by mixing together a dark brown eyeshadow by Maybelline and that same matte black eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. Now this is my first time actually ever using a phony pony, so this is kind of an experimentation here. Um, what I did is I actually um, brought the front of my hair forward and did pin curls and then I gelled back the rest of my hair and put it in ponytails to kind of get ready to put the phony pony in later. Now the blush that I'm using is actually an older Mary Kay blush. Um, I've actually had this one for a while and I don't know the name of it, but it's kind of like a peachy coral blush. You know, just kind of add a little bit of color just enough so you could see the blush, but nothing too overpowering because the eyes are already pretty intense. Now, right there, I went back over my lips with the um, Hard Candy Concealer just to kind of give something for my lipstick to hold on to. And I'm now lining my lips with a MAC lip liner. Uh, the color is Oak. It's an Oak lip pencil by MAC. 
kind of like a lighter brown color. It's really good if you want to do a nude lip. Now I'm filling in my lip with a light pink color, a light peach nude color. Um, it's by Wet n Wild. The color is 903C, just peachy. Um, I really like this color because it's a, a really good, just pinky peach kind of nude color. Something that you can just kind of throw on when you have, you know, nothing else that you want to wear with the eye color you're doing. I'm going back with the Hard Candy Concealer to kind of go around the edges of the lip liner just to kind of um, lighten up the edges so to kind of give a more defined look to my lips. Now here I'm taking a black mascara. You can use dark brown if you want or you know whatever color works best for you. I'm doing black because I like that kind of intense look. Um, I don't get rid of my eyebrows. I actually use my own natural eyebrows, so then I just use a dark mascara to kind of go over them and hold them in place for the night. Uh, I'm now going back over my lips with a lip plumping gloss by NYC in a frosty pink color. Now after I'm done with my lips, I move on to the eyelashes. Um, I go ahead and curl my lashes, and then I have my Maybelline Falsies Mascara. Now this is currently my favorite mascara. Um, I just really like being able to build it. It kind of gives that, um, you know, the falsies look, and it's good to blend into your false lashes if you wear false lashes. Now, most drag queens do wear false lashes. Normally, I will wear one or two pairs. Um, I realized after filming this video that I actually forgot to put on some false lashes. So I'm glad that I used my falsy mascara. <laughs> um, now here I'm actually using a Revlon Colorstay liquid eyeliner just to kind of um, really intensify the upper lash line. And I took the liner and took it out to make a slight wing um, to kind of give it that slightly more dramatic cat eye effect. Now I did get a little lazy by the end of this video and I did not decide to draw on my cleavage, so instead I wore this lovely purple turtleneck for you. Now here I took out the little pin curls that I had for my bangs. I was going to straighten them slightly, but the way that they came out I kind of liked them, so I just kind of left the curl. Now the ponytail that I'm using is by Revlon, it's just a clip-in ponytail. Um, I got it in dark brown, which turned out to be almost an exact match to my hair color. After you've got your ponytail in, it's time to just accessorize and do any little finishing touches, and you're done. And here you have it. It is the final look. Um, I don't know. I was going for a purple look, um, you know, so I did little, you know, the purple eyeshadow and everything, and I... I actually based it off this flower. I really wanted to have this flower in my hair for this look. And I really like how it turned out. So, um, you know, I hope that you like the transformation from boy to girl um, for, you know, my drag persona. And hopefully this was helpful you know you can find some tips or tricks you know to see how um you know just how i do this so thank you for watching don't forget to rate favorite comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos all right i'll see you later bye Um, thank you for watching and oh. thank you for watching oh my god dogs thank you for watching